Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Truxedo Truck Sport on our 2021 Ford F-150, but this is a similar installation on most applications. For this installation, I'll be using a half inch socket with a ratchet. Okay, so first step is to install your bulkhead seal. This is the bulkhead seal from your kit and it goes right up on top of the bulkhead. However, this truck already has a bulkhead seal from a previous install and it's doing great, so we're not gonna replace it. If you don't have a bulkhead seal already, what you're gonna wanna do is wipe down the painted surface of the bulkhead with some rubbing alcohol, then apply the bulkhead all the way back on the bulkhead as far away from the cab as possible, from one bed cap all the way to the other bed cap and cut it into place. You'll see on this part of the seal, we've got a little bit of a semicircle cut out. And what we're gonna do is find the one that lines up and matches up to the shape here. That's this one here. So this is going to be the passenger side. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, peel this off and stick it to our end cap. Just line up that shape and stick it to it and then repeat the same process for the passenger side and flip it over. All right, next what we're gonna do is take our tarp and set it on top of our rails. Uh, now that tarp, uh, this portion right here with the bar is gonna face towards the cab of the truck. Uh, also, we've got a couple of straps. Those straps need to drop down into the bed of the truck, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Then you'll notice we've got a seal that's right here. That seal needs to flip over and land straight on top of the bulkhead. Now we don't want that seal to be facing towards the cab, otherwise things aren't gonna go together. Uh, what we do is rotate that over, and then you'll notice we've got an opening um, on the, the aluminum extrusion here. This part of the side rail is gonna slide right into that opening on the extrusion. So let's go ahead and set it in place and slide it into the side rail. Once you've slid it into the side rail, go ahead and repeat the same thing on the opposite side. All right, now that we've got both of our side rails pushed all the way into our header rail, I wanna point out that this tarp can actually slide back and forth inside that rail. So we wanna make sure we've got that tarp centered on the rail, and then also center the, the rail on the bed of the truck. So we're gonna slide that back and forth side to side and get that centered. And then we can just kind of ro roll it back just about like that. Okay, real quick, let me show you how to align the cover to the back of the bed. Uh, the inside of the rail needs to be aligned where the tailgate closes into the bed of the truck. So go ahead and bring that to where that's lined up. Also, the inside of the rail should really be aligned initially with the uh, inside of where the tailgate closes. Go ahead and line that up, do that on both sides. All right, so let me show you how the clamps work. What we're gonna do first on the front clamps is attach it as far forward as possible without any, any kind of obstructions underneath the bed cap. And what we'll do, I've already gotten this loose, loosened up. So what I'm gonna do is lift that up, turn that to the side, put the bottom of the clamp in first, then turn the top, line it up with the grooves on the rail. Once that's lined up, I'm gonna push in on that clamp and then tighten this down first by hand. Then once I have it hand tight, I can go ahead and take a half inch and tighten down all the way. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set the rear clamps. Uh, everything I do on the driver's side will also be doing at the same time on the passenger side. So what we're gonna do is take the center clamp, set that in place, um, and we're just gonna set it in place finger tight for right now. We're right about in the middle of the bed. In the rear clamp, again, we're gonna find a location as far back as possible that we can go without running into any obstructions. And do the same thing here. Make sure that the grooves of the clamp are into the grooves on the rail and tighten it down finger tight. Now, once that's in place on both sides, we can go ahead and roll the cover back. We're gonna watch for the crossbows, make sure they don't hit a clamp. All right, now once we get the end of the cover down, this is the tail rail. We want the tail rail to drop down into the latch. And now we only want about to have a, uh, an eighth inch gap between the inside of the rail and the tail rail. Once we've set that gap properly, then we can go ahead and roll the cover back up and then tighten down this clamp using a half inch. 
Once that's tightened down, go ahead and roll up the cover to get to the second clamp. And once that's done on the passenger side, just go ahead and roll it back to the tailgate. All right, now when we get it to the tailgate, again, what we're gonna see, we've got a seal that needs to go here. So in our kit, the other two seals we have, one goes on the driver's side and the other one goes on the passenger side. Go ahead and attach those now. Okay, now what we're gonna do to close the cover is we rotate the tail rail down into the latch on both sides with two hands. Go ahead and rotate it down and latch it in place. Well, that concludes the installation. Guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you wanna know more about the product, check the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.